today is a good day because the world has brought me another power wagon vehicle. No, not this one. Ready? It's this one. Boom. It's a power wagon, six by six, one eighteenth scale. So this one is by FMS called the Atlas six by six and it retails for $141 from banggood.com. We are going to talk about it, we're going to run it, we're going to review it, and in the end, I'll tell you how to get it cheaper as well. A few sources for this. So this is super cool, not something I expected. I saw some pictures, I said, what the, what the heck is that? But, um, you know, why not take a chance? I've been looking for something new this game, Last week, pretty new, kind of okay, but not that awesome because it's a copy of an RGT adventure that came out last year. But this one looks all new. And I don't know if you guys have been following the channel, but I've been getting into the little cars. You know, there's been a lot of action. You know, I always want new stuff, new engineering, new designs. And COVID has kept us in the house, right? Or, or in, the, in the property, in the compound. So this is pretty cool. So what is it? It's a 118th scale. Oh, I got to show you this. So this is from banggood.com, uh, the Amazon of China or India or something. But something really cool is it came in a box. Banggood's notorious for just having the the actual package in a plastic bag and it gets beat up. So this one comes in its own cardboard box, so this is protected and inside this is a styrofoam molding that protects everything. So very well packaged and comes with a charger, LiPo and little remote here. This is one of those two piece remotes and I'll tell you all about the car. So it's a six by six it's it's got uh, soft springs installed and hard springs that are optional it's got a functioning spare in case you rip that thing off and it's set up pretty nicely got a little bit of sag power wagon front this is a panda panda tetra i believe uh, same same body and the back is a cage that's really custom built for it. You know, I've been trying to build something like this for that big body that I showed you on 10 scale and it's not, not that easy, you know, or you buy, you buy something, it's 50 bucks, 80 bucks. So it's a very stiff chassis. It's not, it's not a sea ladder. It's just an aluminum anodized chassis. And are you ready for the really cool stuff? The way the body is mounted is magnet mounted on a swivel. Not only is it swivel, this is swivel, but magnet too. And that to me is the hallowed ground. So boom. So it doesn't open this much when your bumper is here because uh, the front bar blocks it a little bit. So I, I took it out and I might run without the bumper anyway, but very fine details fine build on this a lipo that's 600 milliamp hours a true lipo and it's got a two cell so it comes with its own charger a usb charger it's mounted by rubber bands in a nice little case and here is your two in one receiver esc a switch and a servo and here's where it gets good, aside from the swivel mount. It's, it's a really nice swivel mount, by the way. You know, you, can, you, know, you lift it, 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 doesn't, uh, it doesn't release. You really have to pull it hard or push it from the bottom. It's the perfect tension that you want. Okay, so here's where it gets good. You're seeing the lights, huh? Isn't that cool? It's so bright. So now before we get too much talking done, why don't we run it and take it to our test course at Linda Vista. 
we're gonna start with our 24th scale track and go harder and harder so here it is right there it gets hung up a little bit of a uh, wide wheelbase there a little speed that's about full speed right there and then it starts out kind of difficult these are pretty steep there's a there's a rock there can't really go right so we're gonna try the left line tires are not very grippy but they get it done a little rock there and you can see it articulates well another little technical session a little power through and then try to snake through the rocks here a little steep and that third axle really helps and this one's a little steep little section with a bump 24 scales have a nightmare of a time here this one has no problem yep and when you can see that middle axle articulate you know it's getting traction it is a tough one we just had to try it close but that hole on the bottom right there just gives it nightmares can't go there so we try to climb the rock didn't quite do it here's a little v-shaped sh shoot boom it uh, gets in a jam but it's able to work its way out this one's a tough little one for a 24 scale and like it's not even there because of that middle axle so at this point we're not sure whether the tires are good or it's just the six by that's working out and but now we're gonna do some descending six bys are always good at descending because the front doesn't flip over as it's weighted by that third axle you know when it gets steep the length of it saves it from flipping over it's all about the, the braking though and this one seems to have some good braking here's really steep and it's able to almost stop and nicely done this is you know we know it's steep but hey we never learn the limits unless we try so we tried for a while and this one was almost doable but the little the side hill was a little too much and this little shoot nothing doing as well so we get to our next steep part this wall has many faces on the right is not a problem at all for this one this middle one is very steep a true test of its control descending control and a little nose wheelie but it does fine and now we work the steep parts to see what the limits are there you go what's really cool is it's almost vertical but it doesn't flip over so this is the length of it allows it to work but it clearly doesn't have the tires that's gonna get this through we try to grab it with the steering steering servo is strong enough to do a little hold but it's not quite there yet to do this climb so it'd be interesting with some modifications if we're able to conquer these climbs but it's pretty stable you know it's not flipping over violently a little power would be nice to have some options but this motor does not really give it to a body this big oops driver error so here is another little steep shoot right by the rock it's very close normally you can just power through this if you're that if you're that close but it really doesn't have any punch beyond crawling or a little momentum so some interesting challenges 
in the future as we mod this thing. Something cool is when it flips over, the body stays closed and it doesn't look scratched up. I am not sure how they did the matte finish. They must have done it. They must have painted it from the outside. And it's showing some decent durability. Let's give up on that line, do this a little easier one, and it's not a problem. Cool, and this is our side healing ultimate challenge. You gotta stay high, but clearly the tires do don't have enough grip to keep the high line or slot into the some some of the lines. So this is our our four lines of climbing. This vehicle is composed, but it just does not have enough grip to do anything here. It would have been nice because this vehicle is small enough to, to snake through those slippery gray rocks. But it's not happening today. So I think what we'll do since that's the easiest slope is we'll uh, try some descending. See how it handles these descents. So we tried, we gave it an effort. Headlights are cool because they actually have a beam pattern that, that show on the ground. They're bright enough and they're pointed the right way. So here we go, nice control on the, on the descent is what we're finding out. A little steeper this time around. You know, with, with the third axle, it seems pretty stable. On descent, tail doesn't swing around. And it's got enough, just enough grip to uh, stop itself. And here's the, the impossible wall. It could not climb it. But we're gonna see if we can descend it. It's looking good. Most cars, most of our 10th scale cars tumble like right here on stock tires and stock electronics. Boom. So it picked up speed, but we would have exited out no problem if that rock wasn't there. And this is that crazy little crack very hard to do because as you go left it gets it just gets steeper so you have to ride the crack and this thing doesn't have a lot of have a lot of power to wall ride it so it's just gonna have to work those axles in that crack see what it can do right there the middle axle got a grip and it was through so now we do some steep rocky climbs and this is where you see those three axles work in concert. Very nice. Maybe descend it a little bit. Someday. Oh there it is. Kinda nice to have the lights. It gives you Let's you judge the vehicle easily. And they're they're kind of a nice yellow tint. Not 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 hard on the eyes. And here is a we're gonna do some real rock crawling here. Just some rough stuff. We're gonna keep repositioning the camera. Check its progress. driver error. So here is approach angle. It's tough but it was able to get up. Surprising huh? Stock vehicle. So here we have to work this quite a bit. Gave it the hand of God. The, uh, the tires were wedged 
but super interesting how it can solve puzzles because it's got one more tool it's like having four arms to do some rock climbing So here obviously the steering radius is tough, but since it modulates well, you can do 3 point turns all day long. Boom, it climbs up and now it's got to na negotiate this crazy turn on this rock. Move the camera, see what it can do. Very nice. So very few of our 10 scale vehicles can do this box stock. It's a tough line. Approach angles, departure angles. And our 24 scales, they can't do it. Those, those holes are just too big. But this one just seems to span the gaps. So it's a very capable climber in an excellent descender I think it's gonna go the other way what's gonna happen with this vehicle is you're gonna discover a lot of new lines you can do 10 scale lines but you know, there's gonna be kind of your adventure adventure bubble will get bigger we'll have more options As it's getting dark, you can see the lights really come into play and work. So there you go. So there you go. What do you guys think? Are you impressed or meh? I was impressed. 141 bucks. It's got six wheels that work. That's so cool. Love it. So likes and dislikes. The, let me turn it on. So, I love this swivel mount. One of the best implementations ever in an RC. Uh, one, because it's so easy to use, magnet, and it's, it's strong enough. So every time we flipped over, it didn't pop open or anything like that. So, simple one, but love that, love that. Uh, next one is the power of the servo quite good it's strong and fast next one is the modulation is almost perfect you know usually you have to upgrade your your ESC to get this kind of modulation to a hobby wing 1080 but it's all good there another like is the articulation so the way it sits nicely balanced good springs, soft springs. They give you hard, I'm not sure what you need those for. Um, but it, they're there in the kit. Articulation is awesome. You, often you could see the vehicle go like this. So it's finding traction, especially when the middle axle just goes like that. Trying to get over, you know, that lip. It's doing it well. The body is awesome. I think this is painted on the outside to get a matte finish. Very rare that you see a matte finish on a vehicle. But you can see how much more handsome it is compared to a glossy finish. Clear windows as well, which is good. This, this rear flatbed is awesome. And these smokestack mufflers actually protect the body on a rollover. It's got a storage unit here. You can put an extra battery, some snacks, the usable rear tire. So that's all good. You know, the tires are pretty soft. Love that. The lights are a huge plus. So really amazing. And the performance shows it, I hope. And the, the control is just, it's all right. Didn't hold us back. That's for dang sure. So what did not we like? What do we think can be improved? Number one is the steering radius. You know, it's just making big circles. So you have to do a lot of three point turns, six point turns. So, and this is already slammed. There's no way we can improve this. So I'm not sure how we're gonna, if this can be improved at all. 
uh, but it's not it's nothing compared to an axial the steering radius number two dislike is the motor simply does not have enough power the motor is smaller than this one so that's just a bummer um, we're gonna try to upgrade that motor it's fine for crawling as you can see but whenever you need a punch or you want to have fun a little bit uh, walking speed even uh, it's a little bit slow uh, consequently on the plus side it gives you good runtime 30 minutes on this big 600 milliamp hour lipo the rubber bands to hold the battery are a little bit of a pain minor nit but the switches the wiring how clean they did it is all good the uh, the switch is waterproof the whole vehicle is waterproof allegedly the LED lights are some of the best we've seen in the vehicle uh, including 10th scale they even have that uh, the, the the glass that's kind of old school so I love that this is this is cool the nice scale looking maybe surfaces a little slider but this part is a little bit long so it's longer than uh, the Panda Tetra and so consequently you get hung up in the middle a lot if this was moved over here this would be quite a machine so the tires are a nice compound you know nice articulation but the design is not that good it's just it just seems smooth without a, a good interruption in between so it's a lot like the the axial umg 6x6 so that can be improved significantly i think and this whole thing will dominate uh front weight maybe a little more front weight but uh, it, it is pretty good you know when it topples over it topples over um, that's because the, 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 the shocks are undamped it'll tilt like this and then boom you know right at the limit so there's the pluses and minuses the minuses are kind of minor but you know there, there are opportunities for improving or modding I think the bottom line is how much I enjoyed the crawler because it could do 10 scale lines but it could also do the little lines which gives you a lot more uh, lines more options to work with on on any old rock pile or rock course like we have so this might be one of my favorite mini crawlers so far but we're gonna have a shootout compare them all see which one's best so if you like it there's a link to Banggood uh, we'll also have an optional link uh, to purchase it somewhere else the the channel is RC review subscribe like share but most of all introduce someone new to the hobby and show them a good time all right thanks a ton